I am single like many other people. If you've got a good marriage, God bless you. If you're single, there's nothing wrong with you. The last time I checked, there was nothing. Senator Lindsey Graham, a prominent figure in American politics known for his extensive career and influential voice, has remained unmarried throughout his life. Despite being a public figure with a well-documented personal and professional history, Graham has kept the reasons behind his single status largely private. In a recent revelation, he opens up about the personal choices and experiences that have shaped his decision to remain single. Keep calm to listen to his frank confession. Senator Lindsey Graham has recently addressed his unique personal situation with both candor and humor. As he campaigns for the GOP nomination, Graham has found himself in the media spotlight not only for his political views and policies, but also for his status as a single man, a rarity among presidential candidates. In an interview, Graham firmly asserted that his single status does not reflect any personal deficiency. I'm not defective because I'm single, he said acknowledging that while he has been close to marrying in the past, he remains unsure why he never did. His remarks highlight a broader conversation about personal circumstances and public perceptions in the realm of high-stakes politics. Graham's comments come amidst a backdrop of media scrutiny and occasional playful ribbing from colleagues. At 59, he stands out in a field of presidential candidates not just for his policies, but for his personal life, which has sparked a variety of reactions. If you are looking for Camelot, I'm not your guy, Graham remarked, referencing the idealized, glamorous image associated with the Kennedy administration. He continued, If you're looking for glitz and glamour, I'm probably the worst choice in the bunch. If you are looking for a determined person to be president, I think I can fill that bill. The mention of his single status has not only generated media buzz, but also led to lighthearted jabs within the Senate. For instance, Illinois Senator Mark Kirk was overheard on a hot mic making a quip about Graham, referring to him as a bro with no hoe. This comment, while intended in jest, underscores the often playful and sometimes irreverent nature of political banter. Adding to the media frenzy, Graham stirred up additional headlines when he joked about having a rotating first lady, if elected president. In an interview with Daily Mail Online, he lightheartedly suggested that his sister or a close friend could fulfill the role traditionally held by the first lady. Well, I've got a sister. She could play that role if necessary, Graham said. I've got a lot of friends. We'll have a rotating first lady. This comment was quickly picked up by news outlets and discussed widely, leading Graham to clarify that it was intended as a joke. It was a joke, he later told Politico, emphasizing that his remarks were not meant to be taken literally, but rather to inject some humor into the discussion about his personal life. The prospect of a single president is indeed rare, but it is not without precedent in American history. James Buchanan stands out as the only U.S. president who never married. Buchanan, who served as the 15th president from 1857 to 1861, led a life of public service and diplomacy, and his single status did not prevent him from fulfilling his presidential duties. His situation highlights that while a single president might be unusual, it is not beyond the realm of possibility for the highest office in the land. In contrast, Presidents Grover Cleveland and Woodrow Wilson were unique in that they married while in office. Cleveland, who was the 22nd and 24th president, married Francis Folsom in 1886 while he was serving his first term. Woodrow Wilson, the 28th president, married Edith Wilson in 1915 during his second term. Their marriages, occurring during their presidencies, reflected a different set of personal and public dynamics compared to a single president. Senator Lindsey Graham's single status has been a topic of considerable discussion, especially as he campaigns for the GOP nomination. His personal life is intertwined with a complex family history that has shaped his views on marriage and family.
As a college student at the University of South Carolina, Graham faced significant personal challenges. Within a span of just 15 months, both of his parents passed away, leaving his younger sister, Darlene, in a vulnerable position. At the time of their deaths, Darlene was barely a teenager, and Graham, still in his own formative years, took on a profound responsibility. Graham's decision to return home from college on weekends to care for his sister and later become her legal guardian speaks volumes about his sense of duty and commitment to family. His role in Darlene's life extended beyond mere caregiving. It included navigating legal and financial responsibilities to ensure that she received the medical benefits she needed. In 1982, Graham entered the Air Force, balancing his military career with his obligations as a guardian. This period of his life was marked by a strong sense of personal sacrifice and dedication to his sister, which inevitably influenced his personal choices and priorities. When reflecting on why he has not married, Graham acknowledges the impact that his familial responsibilities had on his personal life. I have been close once early on, as I was taking care of my sister, he explained. Graham's candidness about his personal journey highlights the challenges he faced in balancing his family obligations with the pursuit of his own personal relationships. It's something I really don't know the answer to, other than I think it's okay, he adds, expressing his belief that being single should not be viewed as a deficiency. At the end of the day, there's nothing wrong about not being married. Having a marriage and a good family and children is a blessing. But I don't think I'm a defective person by any means. Graham's perspective on his single status reflects a broader understanding of personal circumstances and public expectations. He emphasizes that there is no constitutional mandate requiring presidential candidates to be married. I don't think there's anything in the Constitution that says single people need not apply for president, he points out. This viewpoint underscores his belief in the importance of focusing on the qualifications and character of a candidate rather than their marital status. And if it bothers some people, then they won't vote for me. I offer what I offer, he concludes, affirming his commitment to presenting his qualifications and vision for the presidency despite personal considerations. Senator Lindsey Graham's personal life and its impact on his political career have become subjects of public interest and speculation. As he campaigns for the GOP nomination, his status as a bachelor has prompted varied responses from both peers and voters. Senator John McCain, Graham's close friend and colleague, has offered a candid and somewhat humorous assessment of Graham's romantic history. McCain, known for his straightforward and often lighthearted remarks, has observed that while Graham has dated some attractive women over the years, he has never appeared to pursue a serious relationship. I know he's dated some attractive women from time to time, but I've never seen him get real serious, McCain said, accompanied by a hearty laugh. McCain's comment reflects a level of familiarity and affection for Graham, as well as an acknowledgement of the personal aspect of Graham's life that has often remained in the background. McCain's jest about Graham's romantic pursuits underscores a deeper camaraderie and support that characterizes their friendship. I've often told Lindsay that he couldn't find anybody that loves him as much as he does, McCain added, highlighting the affection and enduring support that exists between them. This playful comment, while lighthearted, also touches on the deeper bond and understanding that McCain and Graham share. The question of how voters perceive a single candidate like Graham remains uncertain. Historical trends suggest that attitudes toward marital status are evolving. Over recent decades, societal norms have shifted, with fewer adults marrying compared to past generations. Presidential historian Julian Zelizer notes that this change might result in much less resistance to non-traditional candidates. In other words, as societal attitudes towards marriage and personal life become more flexible, voters may be more open to considering candidates who do not fit traditional molds. However, Graham's single status also presents unique challenges. 
In presidential campaigns, candidates' spouses often play a crucial role as surrogates, helping to humanize the candidate and connect with voters on a personal level. Rivals such as Rand Paul and Hillary Clinton effectively use their spouses to rally support and enhance their public image. Graham's absence of a spouse by his side could potentially create a gap in this aspect of his campaign. Acknowledging this challenge, Graham has expressed his intention to rely on his sister Darlene Graham Nordone as a significant figure in his campaign. Darlene, who works in vocational rehabilitation in South Carolina and is a mother of two daughters, has been a pivotal figure in Graham's life. She's played a big role in my life, Graham said, becoming emotional as he spoke about his sister. Yes, she'll play a big role in the campaign. She's my number one fan. Of all the things I'm proud of, how she turned out I'm proud of the most. Despite being single and childless, Graham emphasizes that he is not alone in his personal life. He has a strong network of close family members who have played pivotal roles in his upbringing and continued support. After the tragic deaths of his parents in the mid-1970s, Graham and his younger sister Darlene were taken in by their aunt and uncle. This extended family provided crucial support during a formative period in their lives. Graham's relationship with his aunt and uncle is one of deep gratitude and respect. He acknowledges their significant role in his life, saying, You can be single and still have a family. Graham's commitment to his family is evident in his efforts to care for them as they once cared for him. I very much have a family, my aunt and uncle. I try to take care of them because they took care of me, he explains. He expl Graham's perspective reflects a broader understanding of what constitutes family and support systems. His acknowledgement that there are millions of people who are single, who do not need to justify their marital status, resonates with a growing acceptance of diverse personal circumstances. I don't think they need to answer, why are you single, he asserts. Instead, Graham believes that the focus should be on whether a candidate is capable of fulfilling the responsibilities of the office. What they need to be able to prove is, can you do the job, he adds. This viewpoint underscores Graham's belief that being single should not be seen as a disqualifying factor in a presidential race. His emphasis on job performance and qualifications reflects a broader societal shift towards evaluating candidates based on their capabilities and leadership qualities rather than their personal life circumstances. Again, I don't think there's anything disqualifying about being single, Graham reiterates. Ultimately, he suggests that the decision on his suitability for the presidency will be made by the American people. However, some people said that in the intricate world of political Washington, being unmarried can pose certain disadvantages, particularly when it comes to the networking and campaigning dynamics that play a critical role in a candidate's success. While the value of individuals should never be diminished based on their marital status, the political landscape often reveals how a spouse can provide strategic advantages that extend beyond mere companionship. The political realm has a storied history of influential Senate spouses who have made significant contributions to their partners' careers. Figures such as Abigail Adams, Dolly Madison, Eleanor Roosevelt, and Nancy Reagan are celebrated not only for their own accomplishments, but also for their roles in supporting and amplifying their spouses' political efforts. Their involvement often extended beyond traditional roles, leveraging their intelligence, social acumen, and personal connections to influence the political sphere. A spouse can offer considerable advantages in several ways. First, they can serve as an invaluable networking resource. In the complex and often insular world of politics, Having a spouse who is adept at making connections, building relationships, and navigating the social landscape can enhance a candidate's ability to forge important alliances and secure key endorsements. This networking power can be particularly beneficial during election campaigns, where personal connections and endorsements can play a decisive role in garnering support and mobilizing voters. 
Additionally, a spouse can act as a surrogate on the campaign trail, representing the candidate at events, meetings, and social functions. This presence can help humanize the candidate, presenting a well-rounded image that resonates with voters. The support and partnership of a spouse can also provide a practical advantage, sharing the demands and pressures of a high-profile campaign and offering emotional and logistical support. In contrast, a candidate who campaigns alone, like Senator Lindsey Graham, faces the challenge of navigating these aspects without the additional support of a partner. This solo approach can limit the breadth of personal connections and the visibility that might be achieved with a spouse actively involved in the campaign. There is a truth that while Graham has never been married, he has occasionally reflected on his past romantic experiences, offering insights into how his personal history intersects with his public life. In a 2015 interview with The Herald, Graham revealed a poignant chapter from his past that brings some context to his current status. During his service as a lawyer in the U.S. Air Force at an airbase in Germany from 1984 to 1988, Graham experienced a significant romantic relationship that he described as the closest he ever came to marriage. The woman in question, Sylvia, was a flight attendant for Lufthansa. Their relationship developed over the course of a year-long courtship. However, despite the emotional depth of their connection, the relationship ultimately did not endure. Graham's account of the romance highlights some of the practical challenges that contributed to its end. Sylvia's mother was elderly, which added a layer of complexity to their situation. Graham noted that his career and life plans in South Carolina did not align with Sylvia's circumstances and future plans, leading to a difficult but necessary decision to part ways. This experience, while meaningful, did not culminate in marriage and Graham has rarely discussed it in depth beyond this brief acknowledgement. In his discussion with Politico, Graham offered a broader perspective on his single status. He expressed that while marriage and family are indeed blessings, he does not see his own situation as a flaw. At the end of the day, there's nothing wrong about not being married, Graham asserted. Having a marriage and a good family and children is a blessing but I don't think I'm a defective person by any means. This statement reflects his commitment to addressing the societal perceptions of single individuals, emphasizing that personal value and effectiveness are not diminished by marital status. Senator John McCain, a close friend of Graham, has weighed in on this aspect of Graham's life with a blend of humor and insight. McCain has noted that while Graham has dated some attractive women, he has never observed him pursuing a relationship with serious intent. I know he's dated some attractive women from time to time, but I've never seen him get real serious, McCain remarked. This comment underscores the casual yet affectionate understanding McCain had of Graham's romantic life, reinforcing the idea that Graham's personal choices have been part of his broader narrative rather than a defining issue. What do you think about Lindsey Graham's decision not to get married? Leave us your comments in the section below. We hope you have found this helpful video. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.